the recent update we just had guys and that was for the RC2 and obviously for the RC Pro 2 and that was to do with the screen lock now like me as I was doing the tutorial I had to go through the whole process but to be honest I don't want the password I don't want my screen locked I just want to come out pull this especially this one I can pull it out within seconds I can get that drone up in the air obviously with the password it's going to slow things up but for those people that say you forgot your password you can't get into it you can reset it but it's a factory reset guys and I'm going to show you how to do that just for those people that's forgotten um, it's it's a pretty quick procedure one of the things you've got to remember guys make sure that you've taken everything off your SD card that you need I'm talking about photographs videos once you've done that it's an easy procedure so I'm just going to show you what you've got to do so you've got your you've got your controller on you scroll down from the top you go to the settings there and then you scroll up because what we need system so we click on system we then got reset options so that's the one we click on we then erase all data it sounds pretty drastic guys if I can do it you can do it so you press that it will then tell you what you want to do as soon as I press that erase all data so what I do now I press erase it says erase all data so we press that now and don't panic it will do that and it would just go into um, reset so there's a couple of things you've got to do as well guys you've got to reconnect to the internet if you've got a mic on here which I have you have to Bluetooth your mic back on here so there's a few things but it's nothing major So I'm only authorizing what I've done, select, see, not now. Okay, don't want to join it. Right, so the first thing you need to do is to do your, um, obviously your email or your phone number, whatever you geared up. I'm not going to let you see what it is, but now it's saying check network. But obviously we haven't got the network. So what we have to do now is scroll down. We then go over to here we then do internet connection wi-fi is off so i've got to reconnect my wi-fi so i'm connected to the internet now i can come back out of that we then press next password See? and then it just takes you through the dji fly app So there you are, it's all back to normal. Now the other thing you, you will need to check as well is your external card because at the moment it's, it's all on the internal card. And if you're doing like what I do, screen saves, you need to find out where the screen saves are. Profile, settings, storage. So there you see it, internal storage. We need it onto the SD card. So we just switch it over and that's it. It's that quick. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to shut it down. Just to prove that it works. And now we could turn it back on. So now it's removed the lock on the screen but you're going to say but does my drone work so we're going to connect up the aircraft opening up the drone now officially the drone should just kick in straight into the controller See what happens to starting up now. There it is, it's gone straight in already. Now, a couple of things I'm gonna have large text, so obviously, there'll be a few things you might have to 
rearrange on your screen um, a disclaimer as well okay okay well that, that's something new um, aircraft near me now I know this is something that's been going on for a couple of years anyway but I'm quite happy with that so because we do get especially helicopters coming in in my area anyway okay and we can change the settings on there and just to prove that that all works fine I got the map now I might have to update my map because it's probably removed all the stuff all the stuff that I saved from a map so that, that's no problem I've done a few videos on that guys that's pretty easy procedure what I will do is have a quick look just to see if anything's changed okay one of the things I can see straight away is I'm a imperial man so yeah so you do need to check your settings guys um, I've got yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah. let's have a look on the camera I'm gonna do yeah I'm quite happy with JPEG at the moment I've got 19 I've got 100 megapixel yeah uh, I'm gonna put a cross on there as well for the grid lines I always find the grid lines very useful um, I've got no SD card my internal it hasn't removed my internal which is good but I am going to format that as well so that that's good as well so I removed all my stuff off that so I've got a nice empty card as well um, I don't need to do about the transmission the updates are fine but it's always worth checking an update you just never know when there's going to be an update so I'm just doing another update just to see if it's a check Everything's up to date, which is good. Yep, happy with that. Remove the lock off my controller. I've done it on my RC2. Guys, at the end of the day, that's up to you if you want to have a lock on your controller. I think it's a good idea. But for me, I've got my account on there. So if something did nick my drone, they're going to need to use my account eventually. So anyway, that's your option. Hope you found it useful. If you found it useful and you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't like it, tough. <laughs> but as always, there's going to be another video coming very soon. Ah.